Hi, I'm Johnny. Welcome back to my retro series. This episode, I'm going to show you how to make the chicken Kiev. First step is you have to make the butter. The most important bit about this is to bring the butter up to room temperature because you can't mix butter hard. It's you'll be there for hours. So I've got butter, loads of garlic, loads of parsley, a little bit of thyme. That's a little bit different, but you know that's what we're doing. We're bringing it up. We're not just keeping it there. So look, parsley down, thyme, scrunch it together. Just give that a chop. For a full list of ingredients, have a look at the description box. Now that's done. You know, you can smell the thyme and you can smell the parsley. It's already, you know, getting into that Kiev type of mood. So then I've got my pot, I've got my garlic really finely chopped, straight in. Give that a mix, that's fine. So get the chicken out. And we're gonna pipe it in, but not everyone's got a piping bag. But everyone has these. It's what you take your sandwiches in in the mornings. So the chicken out onto the board. We're gonna get a nice small knife, sharp knife. I'm gonna go into the middle. We're gonna make a little hole. Turn it round. Try and meet it in the middle. It's quite it's quite difficult, obviously, to match it up. I think I think I might have just done it. Okay. So, put your finger in, get a hole, and again on the other side, put all the butter into this bag. Get that all to one side, and I've made a piping bag. Open up, squeeze it in, push it all down, push it in, make sure everything, all the butter goes in again. I'm just going to stick it in the fridge now and we'll crack on with the um, bread coming later. Chicken's been chilling in the fridge. It's, it's firmed up as you can see. You can feel the butter inside all the way down, you can feel it and it's firm now. So it's gonna have less of a chance of melting and just seeping out everywhere when you're frying it off and cooking it in the oven. I've got, what I've got now, I've got seasoned flour, egg yolk and breadcrumbs. So this goes into here. A good coating of flour on. Dab off the excess into the egg. Again, again make sure it's got a good coating and into the breadcrumbs. So now the chicken's breadcrumbed, I've got my pan hot. We're just gonna brown it off. And you can hear that sizzle. You don't want any, what you don't want is you don't want water to start seeping out because that means we're starting to boil. We want crisp and we want the golden brown color. So that is cracking on nicely. So now it's been on for about a minute, minute and a half. Looking at turning it over now, it should be nice and golden brown. Yeah. Yeah. Leave that on for about a minute. We're gonna whack it on there, stick it straight in the oven, 10 to 15 minutes, and that'll be the best chicken Kiev you've ever, ever had. And look at that. That's our 10 to 15 minutes. It's nothing special, and it's not hard. Garlic, thyme, butter, breadcrumbs, oven. I mean, that is not difficult, is it? It's a fail-safe method for tea, I think. So, onto, onto the board. Obviously you can play it however you want, play it. Normal people will put it on a play. So, for me, rather than having so much starch, the potatoes, mash, everything like dolphin was, that, bit of salad. For me, you can't go wrong. Put that on the side. Make sure you get all the, all the filling in there. And there you go, people. That is my take on a classic chicken Kiev. Hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you next time.